This is Larry the Barberman and today we are going to discuss how to replace a tension spring within a T-outliner or a GTX. Now if you've watched my videos and you've tried to make adjustments to the tension spring in order to achieve the maximum performance and you find that when you make these adjustments that it's making no alteration to the performance whatsoever, chances are you've overstretched the tension spring or the machine's been dropped or the tension spring's been worn out. So therefore, if you want to get a response when you make the adjustments, you probably need to change the tension spring. Now, uh, today I'm gonna to show you exactly how to do that. To do this is quite a simple operation, is all you need is a Phillips screwdriver, the replacement spring itself, which is here, and you see it with the ball there, a nut twister, which is basically a five mil uh, nut uh, spanner, but this one is within a screwdriver, which will make your job easier, because the last thing you want to do when tightening it up is put undue pressure on that spring and ruin it and find yourself right back at square one again. So I would strongly advise getting a nut twister, but of course you can just do it with a regular spanner if you're nice and gentle. So let's get down to how to replace the tension spring. I'm doing this with an American version because I haven't managed to get my hands onto the spare part for a UK one, but when I do get the UK ones, it will be exactly the same operation. So let's get down to it. First and foremost, US model, so we need to unscrew these two screws here. That's one. Two screws, just fold it out gently. Put your two screws in a safe place, preferably on a corrugated mat. Remove your power outlet from here because these wires are very uh, delicate. So the last thing you want to be doing is pulling them around too much. You want to just keep everything nice and orderly. Right, so what we need to replace here is this one, which is the tension spring. As you can see, this tension spring is a little bit battered and bruised and mangled, to be honest with you. So what we want to do is remove that and put the new spring in. So when we do make the adjustments, the uh, tension spring will be responsive to the blade. So first and foremost, we wanna take out the tension screw out of the spring with the Phillips screwdriver. So simple, just turn it on anti-clockwise and it comes out. Again, put that to the side, then get your nut twister or spanner, whichever way you want to do it, five mil, and then we need to remove these two uh, nuts from here. Again, anti-clockwise. That's one. Two. And when you're doing this, try not to put too much pressure on the arm because then you'll find yourself with another problem that the arm is stretched because that in itself is a spring. So anytime that there's springs involved, try your level best not to put too much pressure on them. So there's your old tension spring. As you can see, it just looks a bit, it's all bent all over the place. It's had its day, it's done. You then come in with the new nice uh, tension spring pop that over the two holes and in the blade you'll see the whole middle hole in the blade that's where you want to position it first we'll just secure it and once we've secured it then we'll work on adjusting it to the right tension to get the best cut so again come in with your nut spanner or your spanner and secure that back to the armature Hopefully you can see all of that. Two. 
two. Again, nice and gentle. Because another thing you don't want to do is thread it. And just give that arm a bit of support when you're going in to do the tightening part. Now, now that's secure, we're going to reinsert the tension screw. This is a tension screw here, we're going to reinsert that. Look through the spring to find out exactly where the hole is. Make sure that's guided in properly. Once it's guided in properly, use your Phillips screwdriver. Okay, so we've got the screw in to get the tension right back to the position. As I always suggest, what you want to do is have a little slither of a half moon of void there between the tension spring and the blade. You'll actually see the shape there, it's like a little half moon shape. So just turn that until you get that kind of nice moon shape and you should actually be set like that. If you want to get it to, to like maximum, it's just a tile and error process literally putting uh, achieving that shape and once you've achieved that shape you can t make the sliver smaller or you can make the sliver a little bit bigger depending on how hard you actually want it to hit. So for me that's a uh, done job there. That tension spring is on the money for me right now. So and once you've finished again make sure all the wires to the left go into this little notch here. This basically stops the wire from slicing once you put the casing back on. So run all those wires down the side and don't let anything run over the top part. Let it sit inside of the uh, cutout notch on the armature here. Uh, good idea to actually put the inlet, the wire in first. Put all these wires across here, gently fold that back, put your left side of the trimmer casing down first, check the right to see no wires are exposed, and then brace it with your finger and your thumb. top one in. And your bottom one and you're all set. That is how you replace the tension spring on a T-outliner or a GTX. And like I said, once you've replaced the spring, it's just a trial and error process, making that half moon either bigger or smaller until it hits where you exactly where you want it to hit. So that's another demonstration by Larry the Barberman. Hope you found it helpful. If you did, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.